Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's Great Garment Graphics webinar presented by Transfer Express. Uh, for those of you who have not joined us before, my name is Andy Curtis. I am a team leader here at Transfer Express. It's my pleasure to present to you today's webinar uh, for Fall Trends for the School Year. For those of you who have joined me before, welcome back. I'm glad to have you. Uh, with me today is my buddy, Georgian Schilling from Transfer Express. Hey, Georgian. Hi, Andy. We're going to start us off, we're going to do a uh, two polls real quick here before we get going. If you've been with us before, you know we like to gauge who we're talking to and who's with us. And uh, Georgiana, if you don't mind running that very first poll. All right, I'll pull it up here. And our first poll is, what percentage of your business is school business? None, half, almost all. We'll give you a few seconds here to answer the poll. This is just so we can gauge who we're talking to. After all, today's topic is fall trends for the school year. So uh, for those of you who are heavy into schools or might not be heavy into that, it's, uh, it helps me to know who, who I'm talking to. Okay, and it looks like uh, we got 56% were a none and 44% were at half were the results of that poll. Okay, all right. So a, a pretty good smattering of, of people who do and don't. Um, and then, uh, Georgianne, if you would go ahead and run that second poll for us. Okay. Launch it up here. Um, which new trend do you think you will use the most? Colors, prints and patterns, glitter, or loungewear? Now, the purpose of this poll is for me to know which one of these topics you want me to talk about the longest, <laughs> um, just so I have an idea of what you guys are most interested in. So those are the trends we're going to talk about regardless. I just need to know which one, which one you guys are more interested to hear about. Okay. Those votes are still coming in here. We're just about ready. Okay. A couple more seconds. All right. And our results are... 50% uh, color, 75% prints and patterns, 40% glitter, and 20% loungewear. All right. Fantastic. Thank you, Georgianne, for helping out with those polls. Sure. All right, folks. Well, in the meantime, let's go ahead and get started then. Again, the topic is fall trends for the school year. Now, one of the benefits to working with us here at Transfer Express is we have a fantastic marketing department. They are on top of trends and uh, things that are popular this time of year and, and all year around, really. And that's what we've sought to do here is we've uh, seeked out, sought out rather, sought out some of the trends for fall of 2012, and we've done so by accumulating info from the Learning Channel Network, the TLC Network, and the Style website. Uh, we've also gotten some of these trends from different custom apparel, um, different stores, different publications. Uh, we've done our best to assemble um, a smattering of information about what's popular right now, this time of year, going into school. Uh, for 2012, what are the kids wearing, what are the kids doing, and the whole purpose of this is to help you grow your business, to help you remain diverse. Um, after all, one thing that you cannot avoid, and no matter which one of us, which, which business we're talking to, what city you're based in, schools are everywhere. So you're going to have some kind of uh, either school clients already, or wherever you're at, you have the possibility of getting school-based clientele. And the best way to serve these people is to know what they need, to know what's popular right now. And that's the goal, is to help you stay diverse, to help you grow your business, to help you know how to talk to these school customers and know what they need, what they want, what they can sell. Especially when we're talking about things like spirit stores and uh, uh, different sports events, that kind of thing, uh, fundraising events, that sort of stuff. So all of these different trends we're about to talk about, they can all be applied to your shop, to your business, in order to help sell to schools and uh, uh, different uh, uh, school customers, be they the teams or the spirit stores or fundraising, all that good stuff. So that's the goal for today. That's what we're going to talk about. Um, and we'll talk about uh, each trend as we go here. So let's, let's go ahead and get started right off the bat. We're going to talk about colors. Now, it, it's sort of funny to watch this type of trend happen because I remember 10 or so years ago, neon colors were the thing. And then for a while, they sort of went out again. You didn't see neon stuff. But lo and behold, these bright colors are back in again. 
uh, something we saw on just about every every website we we perused about every part of uh, TLC that 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 we uh, monitored and we were collecting info from. Colors are big right now, bright and vibrant colors: oranges, pinks, neon blues, and purple. Now you'll see these all over the place, uh, and the whole point about these colors too is to contrast. Contrast is a real big deal. Hence, you see our uh, mannequin Kaylee up there in the top left-hand corner. You see, uh, we've done the bright orange shirt, but then you've got to put a contrasting color on that. Now, tone on tone can be good too, but you have to be very careful because tone on tone, you can sabotage yourself if you're not careful. You see the uh, hanging pink shirt there towards the middle. We've done the pink on pink. Now this works because we've done a darker pink on a lighter pink. If you do decide to do and explore the tone on tone concept, make 100% certain that you are using the uh, good enough contrasting colors. And my suggestion is to go with the lighter garments and then the darker ink color. So you can take the same concept and instead of doing pink on pink, you could do blue on blue, green on green. Keep the shirt lighter, keep the ink darker. Okay, um, but aside from that, uh, different bright colors like the neon blues are incredibly popular right now. A lot of turquoise too. You see a lot of different turquoise and teal. Those sorts of colors are, are very popular right now. And the other thing to remember is that kids are going to layer this stuff. Uh, layering is a very popular fashion trend right now, and not something that we can capitalize on per se. But keep in mind they're going to layer brightly colored garments. So if you keep your transfers, if you keep your designs brightly colored, everything sort of goes together. All right, so bright colors right now are very in. Uh, orange, pink, neon blue, purple, those are the four that we find the most when we're examining trends for the 2012 school year. Those are the colors that we find popping up most often. Okay, uh, now off to the side, you see the girl in the gray tank top. We're actually going to talk about that tank top she's wearing, and we're going to talk about that concept a little bit later in the webinar. But um, she's wearing fuchsia, pink, and Tennessee orange. And that, by far, is one of our most popular samples that we send out to our uh, different dealers across the country when we are sending out samples. That's a very popular sample. And uh, it's a very popular concept, those bright colors that are all very contrasting. But they go together nicely. And you see, after uh, layering a blue tank top underneath her burnout tank top, she's created a look there that's, that's really cool. So uh, again, this is what the kids are doing. This is what they're shooting for. Um, so the colors are just the first trend. Let's move on. Let's talk about the next one here. Hoodies. And it, it's kind of funny to call hoodies a trend because they've been so popular for so long now. If you are not stocking hoodies for a school or you're not prepared to do this for a school, then you need to get prepared. Hoodies are a standby for the kids today, uh, be they junior high or high school. Hoodies and jeans is an accepted norm in uh, teen fashion. Uh, now, again, we're talking younger kids, older kids, doesn't matter. Sports players, the nerds, uh, this is a, a, a cross, uh, uh, across the board a popular concept. Now, the catch is if you are going to do the hoodies, if you are going to stock them and you're going to make use of them, you have to make sure you're applying them correctly because hoodies can be a little bit tricky. Um, every brand is different. Every type of hoodie is just a little bit different size-wise. But the one thing that we know that every hoodie will have is that muff pocket across the stomach area. Now, that pocket can wreak havoc with you when you're doing your heat pressing if you're not compensating for it. So when you're applying to a hoodie, you need to raise up that print area and fi uh, figure out a way to equalize that pressure. See, the problem is if you don't raise your print area and you just press right on top of that front of that hoodie without making up uh, the difference with that muff pocket, what's going to happen is the press is going to come down and it's going to hit the pocket first. And what happens is the pocket is getting all the pressure created by the heat press and the transfer isn't going to be getting as much pressure. That can lead to a transfer that's under applied. So you need to make sure that when you're applying to the front of a hoodie, make sure that the pocket doesn't get in the way, but also make sure that that collar, if we look at the, the girl in the picture here, look up towards her neck where the uh, hood is starting to bunch up in the front there. That can be a pain too, just like the pocket. So those are the two obstacles you have to avoid when you're heat pressing onto a hoodie. Okay, so again, our suggestion here at Transfer Express, raise your surface area and do so with a print perfect pad sold by our friends over at Stalls ID Direct 
or if you don't want to buy a print perfect pad, you want to use something firm. So uh, cardboard is a good thing. Um, I've heard of customers using books. If you got a big, a big hardback book nearby, the point is you want to raise your surface area with something hard. Do not use a nonstick pillow. I cannot repeat that enough. Do not put a pillow inside your hoodies. You run the risk of that pillow absorbing all the pressure and still getting something underapplied. Now, if you want to take that hoodie and you want to do something different with it, you want to be unique, apply it to the pocket or the hood for even further personalization. We've seen customers put names across the fronts of hoods. We've seen customers put uh, school mascots on the muff pocket on the hoodies. Uh, the way to look at it, folks, is this. We are the trendsetters. We are the people making the garments for these schools. Do something creative. That's what the kids are looking for. They want something different. If you can offer them something that looks different than what they're used to seeing, you can guarantee yourself a sale. So we're used to seeing the, uh, the transfers applied to the very fronts of hoodies, and there's nothing wrong with that, but spice it up a little bit. Try doing something down the sleeve and on the pocket or maybe across the front of the hood. So when they put their hood up, they've got something written across the front there. There's all sorts of fun stuff you can do with hoodies. So definitely a staple, definitely something you need to offer if you're not already doing so. And again, uh, like the trend we just talked about, the bright colors, you can see it again in the hoodie that we've got in this photograph here. It's the same thing, the bright pink, the bright blue, and the white. And we've done the blue on blue uh, tone type thing here. You see that's a blue hoodie with the blue transfer on it. So um, again, these are what's popular. These are the things that kids like to see. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one here. Patterns. This is a funny little thing that's sort of been in and out over the years. I remember first joining Transfer Express, and this was popular, and it went out for a little while, came back, went out for a little while. So it seems to be an on and off thing. But patterns are, again, they're coming back into popularity. We've seen a lot ordered already, with the people that are already getting ready and uh, stocking up for the 2012 uh, fall season, different spirit stuff, uh, all that good stuff. So patterns are definitely coming back in. Now, the most popular has never ceased to be zebra stripes. Zebra stripes are always at the very top of this list. For some reason, the people love their zebra stripes, but what I find interesting is that polka dots and plaid and, of all things, paisley are coming back up in popularity. So these are all things that you see coming back again. <clears throat> now, patterns can be put into any piece of text or any clip art. So we offer several different types of patterns, and we're about to show them to you on the next slide here. We'll, we'll keep talking about this. But um, we offer a whole bunch of different patterns here at Transfer Express, and they can be put into anything you want. So these layouts that we have up for you in this picture here, the CP-19 and CP-23, those layouts automatically come with the patterns. But if you go through our layout section and you find another layout that you like, and you think to yourself, oh, wow, I could put the Paisley pattern in that. It would be really cool. We can do that. The patterns that we're about to show you on the next slide can be added to any layout, any line of text. They can be put into any piece of clip art uh, with very few exceptions. So if you ever have any questions, feel free to call our customer service department or ask our reps if you want to double check. But we can generally put a pattern into whatever you want. The catch, and this is an important thing to note, for those of you who want to try and do this, who are going to have some fun with patterns, I suggest it first of all, but if and when you do that, make sure whatever you're putting that pattern into, be it zebra stripes or polka dots, whatever it is, make sure it's a bolder font or a large area. If you look at the three photographs we have here, you'll notice the two lines of text, the, the two text designs rather on the left, both of those, the word lacrosse with the zebra stripes and then the word KMS with the polka dots. Notice those are big and bold. I believe one of them is our aardvark font. The other one might be full block wide. But regardless, you want to make sure you pick big, bold fonts like that. So if you go through our idea book, if you look at our type style section, my personal recommendations are aardvark and another font called Nordic. Nordic with an N. Uh, Nordic is another fantastic thick font. If you put a pattern into those fonts, the pattern will be big and bold, and you'll be able to see it. 
The problem is if you try to put something like zebra stripes into a thin font, you're not really going to get the effect. You're not going to see the stripes quite so well. And on occasion, you come off with a final product that looks like it might be uh, marred somehow, like it might have been a mistake in printing, and you certainly don't want that to be the case. So let's go ahead and move on to the next slide here. Here are the pattern choices, like I mentioned a moment ago. Um, and like I said before, the zebra stripes have always been the most popular, but it's sort of funny to see the paisley and the plaid coming back again. Uh, polka dots are another super popular one. Some of our favorites, uh, our uh, graphic designers came up with the tie-dye pattern. Um, if you look, it's the uh, one that's orange, or Oh, that's orange. I think that's gold and purple, actually. X21A-14. That's a really fun pattern. Now, the thing to bear in mind, if you choose a pattern like this tie-dye pattern here, or another one, the camo pattern that you see here, also in color, if you choose these two patterns, they do not come multicolor like you see them here. Okay? We will make them multicolor, but bear in mind, the more colors you have, the higher the price gets, okay? And if you want quotes, you can certainly call us. We can give you quotes on that kind of thing. But the thing to remember is if you want to do a bunch of colors, that's fine. We can accommodate you. But the more colors there are, the more expensive it gets, okay? So the best way to use these types of patterns are to somehow incorporate your garment color in there, okay? If you're doing the tone-on-tone -tone concept, the camo pattern can be fun if you get like a light green garment and then use the camo pattern with two colors, dark green and beige. Then you incorporate the light green shirt that you're using in some show through areas on the camo pattern and suddenly you've accomplished that full camo look but you've only printed two colors of ink. So there's all sorts of fun stuff you can do with these. And again, these are the patterns available that you can do whatever you want with. Put them into any line of text. Put them into any clip art. You tell us what you want, and we will certainly work with you and make it the way you want it. Okay? So patterns, a really super popular concept right now, coming back in. Um, and again, best used with big, bold designs, big, bold clip arts, lines of text, etc. Now, here's another fun one. If you have ordered from us before, you've no doubt noticed that you do get extra transfers. We send you extra transfers uh, with your order. Generally, there's a ratio. If you order, I believe it's up to 25 pieces, you get one extra. 50-piece uh, orders, you get two extra, so forth. Um, if you get these extra transfers, don't throw them away. Keep them, and you can use these extra transfers to show your customers what else you can do. For example, shoulder bags and different accessories. Extra transfers are perfect for add-on sales. So, for example, here, we've got a run of transfers that somebody did using, again, the popular colors right now, pink shirt and a nice, bold, purple transfer. They've done pink t-shirts of KHS cheerleading. Now, they've gotten extra transfers with that KHS cheerleading order. So instead of throwing those away, uh, Broder Brothers, actually, the sling bag you see here in this photograph that our uh, mannequin here is uh, so proudly sporting, um, this bag is a, a sling bag sold by Broder Brothers, very popular. My, my younger sister looked through the Broder catalog and saw this and asked me to order two of them for her, as a matter of fact. So. Um, uh, cute design, and all we've done is we've purchased a pink sling bag and taken the same transfers that were used for the t-shirts and put one of the extra transfers onto the sling bag. These types of add-on sales are, are perfect for schools especially, and kids love shoulder bags, they love the accessories, they love that kind of stuff. So uh, just another idea of what you can do. Another great concept with this, if you want to plan ahead a little bit, if you've got the capacity to do a little bit of planning ahead, if you were doing this KHS cheerleading order, do it as a gang sheet. Order your, your full front for your t-shirts, and then maybe ask the rep if you have enough space to gang another image on the same sheet. Bear in mind that our transfer sheets are 11 and a quarter by 14. Okay, so 11 and a quarter inches by 14 inches. Whatever you can fit onto that sheet, you get. So in this case, that KHS cheerleading, that could be the full size. That could take up a big chunk of the sheet, but it looks pretty rectangular. 
you'd have a lot of space underneath that to add some smaller designs. So if you want to plan ahead, maybe you do can koozies, maybe you do uh, uh, CD, the um, CD cases. Broder Brothers sells fantastic CD cases. You can do the covers for those. Another super popular thing right now, I don't know about you guys, but I, I see a lot of kids out there, high school kids, college kids that have laptops. Now, again, Broder Brothers comes to the rescue. They sell neoprene laptop cases. I bought one of these myself. I, I fully admit it. I, I will, <laughs> I'm adult enough to come out and say I bought myself a laptop case and he pressed all over it. Um, but it's a fun thing to do with the extra transfers or if you plan ahead and do a gang sheet. Order a couple of these sling bags, a couple of those laptop cases, and it's the perfect add-on. It's the perfect thing for school spirit shops, for uh, different fundraising events, that kind of stuff. The sling bags especially would be great for those fundraising events. Um, we've all seen uh, these events do the canvas tote bags. Well, the sling bag is a fun, a fun variation on that. So just a, a couple neat suggestions. Um, and again, the same transfers you use, the whole point is the same transfers you use to do the fronts of your shirts, you can use those to do all sorts of other cool things. So uh, those accessories, those sling bags, very popular right now and a great idea. Loungewear. Loungewear is huge and you know it's funny because I, I know that we've all seen some of those kids going to school in, in the yoga pants and the boxer craft and you think wow somebody looks like they just rolled out of bed but that's what's popular right now. That's what the kids are doing. This is what they like to do. It's a sort of a, the concept of comfort counts. Uh, they want to be comfortable, and if it's in the school's dress code, there's nothing wrong with wearing plaid pants to school. Hey, they're going to do it. So why not capitalize on this? Uh, loungewear is super, super popular. Now, the pants that we have in the picture here are just an example of one type of loungewear. I think I can say just by monitoring some of the younger girls in the office here at Transfer Express that uh, it's very popular also with yoga pants. We see a lot of yoga pants come through, too. A lot of our dealers saying they press on yoga pants, and uh, you see a lot of the kids wearing them, too. So um, these are easy to decorate on as well. Uh, you get a design like you see in the picture here, Blue Demons. It's, this is a particular design that's wide and short, and then it's been printed sideways down the pant. So all you're looking to do is some sort of transfer, that's some sort of design that's, that's uh, thin and long. You can do it vertically or you can do it sideways down. Here at Transfer Express, we also offer maximum leg or full leg prints. Uh, what we do is we take a, a leg design, like you see Blue Demons there, but then we make it huge. We make it 24 inches long, and we split it up on a sheet of our paper, since our paper is 11 by 14. We split it up, and now when you receive that, you simply have to cut the paper in half and put the two pieces together, which can be a little tricky, but the end result is fantastic. You get a full leg decoration that looks really cool. The kids love that sort of stuff. But uh, loungewear is really easy to decorate. There's so many different things you can do. Um, the, one in this, the one in the picture is just one example. You can also do part sizes. Look at it that way, sort of taking our trend that we talked about on the last slide. You can take the same designs that you did on hat sizes and heart sizes for whatever team that you did them for. You can slap them on the thigh of a pair of lounge pants like this. So another fun thing to do. And of course, we all know that there's the ever popular trend of text going over the back side of pants and text going down the legs and all that stuff. So. Um, all sorts of fun stuff you can do with loungewear, but that is certainly a trend that we have seen a, a heck of a lot of this year. It, it's something that the girls actively look for. Uh, so instead of letting the girls go out to Victoria's Secret and those types of stores and spending a whole bunch of money on the same thing you can make in your shop, you should be providing it to them. So definitely a great idea. Um, and again, my suggestion is seek out a company like Broder Brothers. They've got a lot of really great blanks in terms of uh, loungewear and yoga pants and that kind of stuff in the brands that the girls will like too. So definitely something to keep an eye out for is the whole loungewear concept. The feminine look. This is another thing that we've seen growing a lot, and I'm going to chalk this up to actually the last two school years, to be totally honest with you. Um, it's something that we've sort of watched this trend grow, and this year you see even more of it. Um, girls are looking to 
get their garments to look even more girly, to look even more feminine. And the features that you're looking for here, uh, not just the artwork per se, but the things that make a design girly or feminine, you want a smaller print. Okay? Our standard adult size here at Transfer Express is 11 inches by 11 inches. But that's considered like a full size, a full shirt size transfer. High school girls are a little bit smaller, and they're going to wear their clothes a little bit, uh, a little bit smaller as well, as opposed to big, baggy, and flowing. The tighter garments are more popular right now. So again, you don't want to necessarily order a full 11-inch transfer if you're doing transfers that you know are going to be for high school, junior high girls. You want to order accordingly. Smaller print is popular on those smaller T-shirts. Okay, just like the girls you see in the uh, far left-hand side in the middle there, these aren't full-size transfers. These are a little bit smaller. Then what matters next is what you put on them, not just the size. We've got a couple different specialty transfer types that fit this. The girls are looking for something that have a glitter to it or a shine or a sheen, something that has a texture. Uh, this isn't necessarily appropriate for a boy's t-shirt. You don't see the guys walking around with the foil and the glitter, but the girls certainly adore it. Okay? We sell a lot of our glitter prints and our pearl prints to a lot of different cheer, spirit, gymnastics, dance. Very popular with that group, so it's perfect right up the alley for this whole feminine concept. Okay, so the glitter, the pearl, and the foil, another fantastic product. If you have not had a chance to play with the foil product, give us a call. Ask for a sample. The foil product is another really fun product. You can get lost with that product. There's so much neat stuff you can do with it. Um, the girl in the bottom middle here on this particular slide is wearing one of our foil transfers. and I know the picture is not huge, so you can't see it all that well, but um, absolutely uh, a great product to play with if you get a chance to. <clears throat> now, um, the one on the far right-hand side on this one is our pearl print. Uh, as you notice, the uh, caption there says QAT17 in copper pearl. But what's most important about her shirt is the placement. Now, if you haven't seen this before, if this is not something you've played with, the placement of a transfer is different than it was years ago. Years ago, you put your transfer on the front of a shirt. That was the end of it. That's not the case anymore. Again. We are the people making these garments. We are the people, the innovators, the creators. Do something different. Don't just put your transfer on the front of the shirt and call it a day. The girl on the far side here, you see it's on her side. Now, what I found interesting, uh, yesterday actually, uh, yesterday, which would have been uh, September 11th, we conducted, or September 12th rather, I apologize, Ooh, I'm getting lost here. Yesterday, September 12th, we had a big event here in Cleveland, D3. Uh, design, decorate, and deliver. And we showed some pearl transfers, actually, this very one, this very concept you see on this, this girl in the picture, with a pearl transfer pressed onto the side of a t-shirt. And I was sort of surprised by how many people in the audience said they had never done that before or said that they hadn't thought of that. This is a really popular concept, putting transfers in places you normally wouldn't think to. And not just the side of the shirt, like you see the girl in the picture. Take that feminine design. For example, the girl in the middle, she's got that uh, design with the crown and the wings on it. That's a long design that's uh, sort of wide and short. Take that same design, and you can turn the shirt around to the back and press it on the lower portion, the back, sort of the middle of the girl's back, wherever that would fall. Put that on the back of a shirt. Another really popular concept. In terms of fashion, though, lightweight t-shirts are super, super popular right now. And if you didn't know that before, uh, feel free to flip through Broder Brothers catalog and you see a heck of a lot of it this year, uh, more than I've ever seen before. Um, lightweight t-shirts, such as burnout t-shirts, those are the popular ones. Uh, the burnout t-shirts are the garments, if you're not familiar, they're sheer. They have a look to them where you can sort of see through them. Uh, girls use these for, use these for layering, generally. Um, put a tank top underneath of it or a long sleeve shirt underneath of it. Uh, the burnouts are usually used as the outer layer. Okay? Now, these sheer t-shirts, they're very light and flowy. You need to make sure when you print on these, choose artwork and uh, transfer types that aren't going to be big and chunky and massive. Uh, if you're pressing onto a burnout t-shirt or a very, very sheer thin t-shirt, 
don't choose a transfer that's one big square of ink. You do not want to weigh that light and flowy t-shirt down with a whole bunch of ink. Keep your design simple, keep it open with lots of show through areas so the garment can breathe. And then my suggestion would be to use one of our thinner transfer types like hot split. Our hot split ink type will soak into the shirt a little bit. It'll be a little bit softer than the goof proof. Hot split on a burnout t-shirt is fabulous. Really cool. It turns out great. Um, another little hint for everybody listening in right now, if you're going to print a burnout t-shirt or a very thin sheer t-shirt, sometimes the ink has a tendency to go through one layer to the next layer. So my suggestion to everybody, make sure you thread your garment on your heat press. So if you've got that stall's threadability going on, this is a good thing. Um, you want to make sure to thread the t-shirt on your lower platen. If you cannot thread the t-shirt, if your uh, platen does not allow you to do that, make sure to have a layer of uh, maybe non-stick uh, cover sheets from stalls or maybe a cover sheet from us here at Transfer Express, our packs of cover sheets. Put that between the layers of the garment just in case the ink wants to bleed through to the other side. Because again, these girl shirts, these uh, girly shirts, they're great, they're popular, you can sell a lot of them, but they're very thin, they're very sheer, so you have that chance of that occurring. Okay, and of course, the far left side, we've got the glitter. The glitter is one of those trends that just doesn't, it doesn't ever go away, it's always very popular. Girls love the glitter look. Um, and uh, we are adding to all of these also, bear in mind, uh, one of our new additions this year at Transfer Express was the pink pearls. So uh, these are all things that we're going to keep adding to, concepts that we're going to keep building on. So uh, just, just the start, but um, these are what's popular right now. Oops. There we go. Okay, so the next slide we're looking at here is uh, essentially screen printed transfers plus stock rhinestones equals fashion. Uh, if you've never heard the term multimedia before, that's what we're looking at here. We're looking at multimedia. Now this is just the very basic concept of multimedia. Essentially, you're taking two different types of heat press goods and putting them together. Here at Transfer Express, we make it easy for you to mix the screen printed transfers and the rhinestones. Now, this is actually a really cool concept. I had a lot of fun yesterday at D3 when we actually did this exact shirt you're looking at. We pressed this at the D3 event yesterday, and we, uh, we uh, dragged a, a lady out of the off, uh, audience up to the heat press to help us out with this. This is what we came up with. What you do first is you take your blank t-shirt, you press your screen printed transfer. In this case, uh, I believe that's the pearl print on this particular shirt. You press your pearl print first. Then you come back and you take one of our stock rhinestone designs. The flowers that you see on this particular shirt are our rhinestones. You take those, you cut them apart, and you space them out. You put them uh, strategically on the shirt just like we've done. This is incredibly popular right now. Not necessarily just screen print and rhinestones though. Mixed media in general, multimedia in general, is very popular. You can do this with us here at Transfer Express. You can do it with the Stalls family of companies too. The whole idea is to take different types of artwork, different types of uh, uh, different types of media and put them together. So Twill is another fun thing. If you order the Stalls products, you can layer Twill with our transfers. You can layer uh, Twill with our rhinestones. Um, the glitter flake from Stalls is very popular for this purpose too. There's all sorts of fun stuff you can do. Here at Transfer Express, though, we make it easy for you to mix the screen print and the rhinestones. Now, this is just one example, and I would challenge all of you out there to check out our rhinestones on the website and see if you can come up with some clever ways to mix these together. Uh, another great example in the office here, one of our reps uh, mixed one of the uh, breast cancer relay transfers with our new breast cancer rhinestone ribbons. And uh, she put them together for a breast cancer design that looked really cool. It looked really sweet. Uh, so that's another great example of combining popular trends. We talked about how the colors, uh, like a bright purple, bright green, these bright colors are really popular right now. That's what we've done with this t-shirt. You take your bright colors, you take a contrasting t-shirt color, like brown, 
then you mix it all together with some mixed media with the rhinestones. And on top of it, we've used the pearl prints, which gives you that opalescent, uh, sort of a mother of pearl-like finish to it, hence the term pearl prints. And you mix that all together, and you found a way to combine all of these trends into one t-shirt, a t-shirt that you can sell. And again, we've just done Riverside Football Mom, but it doesn't have to be mom shirt. It can be the daughter's shirt. These can be cheerleading shirts. These can be dance shirts. These can be spirit shirts. Uh, the Football Mom is just the one thing we've done in the photograph here. So by all means, break out your creativity and see what you can do. See what you can accomplish. And we offer a whole bunch of different rhinestone designs if you're interested in this idea. We have a whole bunch of different stock rhinestones, uh, be they letters. We've got paw prints. We've got cheer designs. Um, you can take these designs, cut them apart, and space them out on the shirt like you see we've done here. So another super popular concept. Okay, folks, sort of a quick webinar today. Before we really wrap up, I want to encourage you. The things that are most popular, upon all the research we've done with TLC, Style Network, all that good stuff, the things that are most popular right now are the creative things. Kids want something different. And you and I were in the perfect position to give them different because we're the ones making their t-shirts. Uh, those of you out there who have a heat press, you have the chance to be innovative. Mix it and match it, put stuff together, put your transfers in a different spot, put two different types of colors, transfers, contrast, put stuff together. Get creative, because that's what's popular. All right, folks, uh, a PDF of these slides will be available on greatgarmentgraphics.com. If you have any questions about today's webinar or any other webinar, any other questions in general, uh, I know we had some questions come through, and thank you to George Ann for answering those for uh, those of you who are asking things. But if you have more questions, feel free to email us, info at transferexpress.com. Hit our blog at Transfer Express. Uh, these types of tips that we've just talked about today and a heck of a lot more are available. We're always updating, coming up with new stuff. And please make sure to watch some of our previous webinar videos if you're looking for creative ideas. We did a great uh, fashion webinar earlier in the year that you could sort of tie this one together if you were interested. So, And I would encourage everybody, uh, I know this is a popular topic right now, the next upcoming Great Garment Graphics webinar is put on by Stalls ID Direct. It's going to be the 20th of September, and this is going to be a fun topic. It's Cha-Ching with Bling. Uh, so make sure to check that out. Uh, and if you'd like to join me, Andy Curtis, I'll be back with you uh, in October. Uh, the date is to be decided. You'll hear about it on the Great Garment Graphics website. We're going to talk about the top ten must-haves for heat printing. So thank you so much for everybody for joining us today, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.